If you take a closer look at the rights and freedoms we enjoy today, advocacy is often involved in one way or another. Advocacy is an activity by an individual or group that aims to influence decisions within political, economic, and social institutions. Advocacy in all its forms seeks to ensure people have their voices heard on issues that are important to them. Advocacy affords people the opportunity to have their views and wishes considered when decisions are being made about their lives. Advocacy can mean many things, but in general, it refers to taking action. There are many types of advocacy, each with different objectives and end goals. Here are three common types of advocacy. Self-advocacy. When you stand up for yourself, defend your rights, or represent your own views and interests, you are being a self-advocate. Talk. The moment you speak, something comes out from you, the burden, the burden within you, the guiltness, the failure you feel like you are, the self-undoubt. Uh, it gives you an opportunity to be happy again. Individual advocacy. This type of advocacy involves acting on behalf of others, an individual or a group to advance their goals. A parent might advocate on behalf of their child. Self-advocacy is very important because at some point we've seen our leaders fail. Whereby we are, we are, they, are, they are leaders in office but they can't stand up and, and come and say, speak, speak on our behalf. So if you can speak on your behalf as an individual, it will be better. Systems advocacy. The goal of system advocacy is to change policy, rules, or laws on a particular issue. This can happen at the local, state, or national level. These types of advocacy are like tools. They can be used separately or in conjunction with each other. The type of advocacy best suited for your situation depends on the goals you want to achieve and the resources you have at hand. When you present uh, in front of professionals, in front of different leaders, you get the, the fear is overcome. You overcome the fear. I've also presented during many other conferences. And in the process, I've also gotten some skills that I, I didn't know that I had. I've been able to be a master of ceremony in different other conferences and uh, events. So in the process, you groomed and you are able to learn some skills that uh, you didn't have like the leadership skills. What does it mean to advocate for something? Just like there are several different types of advocacy, there are many different activities that you can do to advocate for your issue. This include explaining challenges facing students to the faculty, pushing for reforms in how student affairs are handled, writing opinion letters on why certain issues need to be addressed or changed, you can remember during 1982 that we had the multi-party staff and everything. It was, uh, it was through the, the voice of the people that we were able to contain all that. So I think the students can learn from the earlier years. Their voice matters. Advocacy is important for many reasons. We've highlighted just a few below. Advocacy helps to improve services. In this type of advocacy, it is a system that is being challenged or advocated for rather than an individual. In this type of challenge, the goal is to change policy and practice at a certain institutional level. When advocating on a system level, the desired result of many grassroots effort is to improve services or improve existing legislation to benefit an individual. Holding elected officials accountable. 
Advocacy is also important because of its ability to draw attention to issues. When there are dedicated advocates who take the time to fully understand the issues, they are able to then inform the public. With this information, the public is able to make informed decisions and communicate their views to their elected representatives who are obligated to represent their constituents. This results in the development of accountability and transparency in student leadership. To mobilize communities. Mobilization means the inclusion of others in the advocacy efforts in a way that they support the issue and take actions towards a common goal. Mobilization works by expanding the base of support beyond those who may be directly impacted by convincing others that the issue affects them as well. The rise in public awareness of a particular issue that may be promoted through advocacy is what can eventually lead to change in public opinion that results in social change. To give a voice to the voiceless. Individuals' advocacy works to solely seek an outcome that is in the best interest of an individual. Examples include individuals living with disabilities, people from minorities or those who may not be able to speak up for themselves. In these instances, the advocate will have specific knowledge and resources that will help to determine the best way to move forward. They work to ensure that the needs of the individual they are advocating for are put first and ultimately the decisions made speak to that goal. All the University of Nairobi operations are guided by our core values, namely freedom of thought and expression, innovativeness, commitment and trust and care and teamwork.